today I'm working on RDM and I've got probe for fault on this uh, you know you look at the graph here it's not doesn't show anything these are the probes but if you look at the time so this was 308 1157 p.m. is what that was so that was last night you know so you look at the graph this is only for 15 minutes so we want to go back and see what it was doing last night and look here we have it dropping out and for some reason it's only happened these times but it definitely dropped out so that's the suction line probe inside this produce prep area evaporator A in the produce prep so we got produce over here okay right here that one so we walk into the produce through the produce cooler into the produce prep and it's the second evaporator <laughs> Hmm, it's laid out differently in here. I'm not too sure which one is A and which one is B. So that's that cooler over there. So I'm gonna go up here and around and come out the other side. Now up here, so there's one evaporator, there's the other one. So somebody has done me a favor. They've wrote 7A and 7B. So the one closer to the exterior wall is the one. Now these trays, these drain pans, they got three screws up there on both sides. You know, you can take them out and the the pan will drop down. It'll like it'll pivot down either way. You just gotta take the um, drain apart. When you do this, you loosen it, you gotta have a backup. Always use a backup and you don't have to seal the threads. If you put this back on right, sealing the threads is pointless. There we go. When you work by yourself, like I usually do, if you got three screws like this, take the, this one and the far one out first. Then when you take this one out, you can hold it and drop it and it's the easiest way. Now I got another sensor. Now for RDM, they're 10K uh, the Type 1 sensors, I think. That's what Ray told me. I believe him because he's smart. But the problem is, I went to Udida today after hours. I opened them up and they didn't have the PR0255, which is a 10K pipe mount thermistor. They only had the PR0250 which is also a 10K Type 1, and it's the only one that will work on this application. Now, like I said, it's not a pipe mount, it's, it's for air, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mount it like this. And I'm gonna get it on there nice and tight, and I'm gonna insulate it really well. That's the best I can do. Let me know what y'all think about that. Now what I like to do to chase wires or to get wires where they need to go is I'll put them like together. You see how this is? You've got the wire that's going through. You've got to pull that wire through, right? You got to do that anyways. So if you attach the other one on it and then you make it come to like a nice little point with the tape, kind of a little something like that, you know, where there's not very much resistance that it's going to encounter on its journey through where it needs to go, you'll have really good chances of getting it through like that. And then if it's somewhere that you don't want to you really, you know, like if you pour your wire through and then you're screwed because the tape came apart, well, you can tape it more. And it's best to get your tape as close as possible and as tight as possible and make good contact with what you're taping. So for instance, like this, 
it's not gonna come apart. All right, so this one here, I think, or no, it's the gray one, the gray one, this one. Well then why does it say coil inlet? I don't know. Uh, okay, here's what I need to do. I need to make sure that this is the right one in the RDM. So to test, I've disconnected what I think is probe four. What's up, man? How you doing? Okay, I verified. It does. It is say probe four on the RDM now, but just there was a guy up there and he kind of surprised me. Then once you get the one million little damn straps off, then you can start. Pull it. Pull it through. Now, if I just let this play with no noise in the background, then YouTube will block my video with a copyright, and then it won't pay me for it. So that sucks. So this is just filler talk. A good way to pull the wire, though. Mm -hmm. And once you get it all fished through, you come secure it over here and strap it up. Okay, now, I don't want to crush the little thing, you know? I think this is better than these ones, you know? Alright, so that's mounted. And secured, and it's up there above the fans. Pulled tight and secured. I even shortened it some, see? It's just barely like that. All right, now we're back on, and it no longer says probe four. Okay, so here's the finished product. It's all insulated, none of it's exposed to air, so hopefully that's good. Ladies and gentlemen, that's how you do that. I'm just gonna check the RDM, make sure that there's nothing obviously wrong. Hopefully that fixes it. We'll just have to wait and see. But that's the best place to start. Oh wow, well, look here. It uh, actually had disappeared. It disappeared right there. It went out, disappeared. I replaced it, it came back. And it's there. So we had a failed probe. I hadn't realized that it had disappeared. So we did a good job. I did fix it. <laughs>